I'm Caitlin, Outreach Coordinator with Dubuque County Conservation, and I coordinate the Mowing to Monarchs program. So the Mowing to Monarchs program established in 2022 is a program where we convert uh, turf grass to pollinator habitat. So we work with private landowners in our county and we help them with uh, coaching for one-to-ones through uh, our Master Gardener program in Dubuque County. We provide newsletters, workshops, we bring them out for field days, we go to site visits, and we basically coach them through this entire process on converting their turf grass over to really crucially and excessively needed uh, pollinator habitat in our county. Dubuque is in an interesting area. We're right on the boundary between the Great Plains and the Eastern Temperate Forest, and that means we have a tremendous variety of insects that uh, moths and butterflies that could find a place in, in our yards. We, the Dubuque County Conservation Board, when we came to you trying to establish this program, what we realized is when we were invited to come in to talk to school groups, they always wanted us to talk about endangered ecosystems. And typically they'd say, hey, focus on the Great Barrier Reef and the tropical rainforest, which we did, but in all reality, the most endangered ecosystem in the entire world is this. It's the tall grass prairie and it's right beneath of our feet. I mean, if you look around, like nothing, I mean, just standing here besides the pocket prairie, nothing around us is really native. There's farmland, suburban, and things that we all need as humans to live. But there's a whole lot of grass just growing this turf grass, and that's not what belonged here. Everyone knows, most of us know that Iowa used to be prairie or grasslands, but you don't look, you look around, you might see grass, but it's not grassland. So what we're trying to do with this program is basically build biodiversity to, to restore the habitat and to bring it back into this community so we can slowly over time start building those crucial pockets of habitat not only for the endangered monarch butterfly but tons of other sensitive pollinators. It was through advertising with the Dubuque County Conservation. It was somehow through there that I saw it and I thought, hey, this is what um, we've been talking about, putting in some prairie plants. And, but we didn't know how to do it and where to buy the plants or what plants to choose. So we just thought that would be perfect. Uh, the Dubuque County Conservation Board uh, funds this program. And when we work with the Master Gardeners, we basically allow anybody in Dubuque County that is a landowner to apply. If for some reason they were not accepted, let's say we uh, ran out of funding for that round, they can choose to buy into the program and still get a bulk discount through us, still get the same supports, just not be able to be financially supported by the program. Um, our master gardeners uh, that are kind of spearheading the project along with Caitlin, they're the ones that are really doing a lot of the, if you want to say, heavy lifting in terms of learning and stuff like that along the way, because this is all new. All the coaches are great to work with, um, and that's been the really nice thing. Nobody has ever said, wow, what a mess, mm -hmm. um, or why, why did you plant that there? You know, you did that wrong. Nobody has ever made you feel like you were doing something wrong. It's all been very encouraging and very motivating. And so for me, it's been a great opportunity because I was just this hobby gardener um, that decided I wanted to try to, um, prior to mowing the monarchs, do my own little piece of prairie in my front yard and then signed up for mowing the monarchs. And it allowed me to have this community to talk to. I know we work with master gardeners and that there's workshops and things like I'm not a gardener like I I'm actually surprised that what I planted is still alive there's lots of resources of people who do this or have done it even people who haven't had a lot of experience but got involved and I think just like camaraderie amongst people I think there's lots of resources both uh, staff and volunteers taking your own little piece of your yard or wherever you happen to live and helping to make more environment for those monarchs to be in. We can do this if we all help collectively. What I've learned, what's intriguing is you look closer at what's growing around the earth. Uh, I find there's a lot of activity going on in the trees that uh, I hadn't realized. So it's, it's just been uh, a real journey of discovery.
that's kind of the whole purpose of it is to let your yard go back to the natural state instead of uh, spending money on chemicals and uh, polluting and everything else because that's pretty much what it's doing. I don't see any reason to keep mowing a lawn and keep a turf, turf graph when we could have native habitat there. And we, the Dubuque County Conservation Board, we manage less than 1% of the land in our county. So we realized that in order to fulfill our mission, we needed to start engaging private landowners because there's less than 2% of this left in the whole state of Iowa. You know, I think our website says that uh, the prairie is more endangered than coral reefs and uh, rainforest. And most people are worried about things far away in other parts of the world, but we should also be worried about what's right in our own backyard. This is Iowa, the land of the prairie, and we pretty much took away all the prairie. And um, not that corn and soybeans aren't important too, but um, I think it's just getting back to the roots of what Iowa really is all about, um, 100 square foot plot at a time. And so it's not a huge plot, but it's making a huge difference.